Alright, what's up y'all? It's like a fan here. As a lot of my subs know, I'm one of the biggest haters of fancy footwork throughout the four months that 2K's been out, but today's video is me confessing and actually owning up to my wrongs with this badge. Now, I will say, this badge is very functional, it's very good, but I want to also introduce you guys to a couple things that you may misinterpret fancy footwork doing work for, like your layup packages, for instance. There are very big differences between such like Long Athlete and then uh, Default Small or Jamal Crawford, stuff like that. So anyway, real quick, what we're going to do in the intro of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just read off the description of Fancy Forward to you. Players get past defenders more efficiently when performing Euro, Cradle, Hop Step, which obviously is what we're mostly talking about in this video, Spin and Half Spin Gathers. Now honestly, I don't even know what a Half Spin Gather looks like, <laughs> never seen that in the first place, but obviously, like I said, most of us know about the Hop Steps. Now, like I said, there are dip there's like differing animations that happen depending on which layup package you have on so you're gonna see in my opinion the most dominant one is long athlete and you're gonna see i have that on now i have a couple others that i use jamal crawford was one that i used earlier in the year and that right there was more of like a this is a crazy like fancy one to use but as you can see the offhand hop which everybody uses in the game is very lengthy it takes a lot of time obviously like you're stunning your defender is not going to be a very big deal with this on. Now, I had this on early in the year, was thinking fancy footwork was trash. Then I put on long athlete where you hit these crazy gigantic hops when you do the offhand like hop dunks. So anyway, long story short, I'm going to show you a couple different animations. We're only going to do like two two layups or so, like two hop dunks with each with each layup package on in this pro arena. And I'm going to go ahead and make the cuts for those real quick. So as I load in here, I see Kitchens is working on his game too. But anyway, uh, let me let me just d demonstrate. So this is Long Athlete right here. You got a really lengthy and like good distance on the hop jumpers right there. So you can see, and then you can also do it with just flicking down into the right on your right stick. Um, I, w I do want to mention too, there are different ways to do this hop like this little hop dunk right here like for instance to the ball hand right there is complete trash with this long athlete package on honestly the only thing long athlete is good for but honestly it's the best and most uh, like op hop move in the game is that right there the offhand hop dunks but i should mention too i'm gonna show some gameplay uh right after we get through these but anyway i just wanted to show you what those look like i'm gonna make the transition to crawford real quick Okay, so we're in here with the Crawford package on. Now, I'm not going to lie. I may mess up a couple of these animations because this package is a bit old to me. Like, I used this a while ago. But obviously, we got that move. The the offhand, you know, hop dunk that with Long Athlete is crazy on. But with, with this, Fancy Footwork just isn't functional. It's just simple as that. Now, like I said, it depends on your layup package. Ones like Default Small are complete trash too. Right here is the, the ball hand hop dunk. Again, pretty decent. But here's what actually sells Crawford as like a decent one to use. You can see you can do like a, a little fake in euro like it's it's real crazy all you do is you hold uh down into the ball hand so for instance if i'm driving right you're gonna go down into the right with the ball hand and then you do it with no sprint and then you hold sprint at the last second so you do this little fake in move and then you get some crazy dunk this is part of the thing that i really wanted to try crawford a little bit and i may even do it on my play slash a little bit but the thing that makes long athletes so dominant is just that offhand hop dunk you know instead of this right here and you can't you can't get it when you have crawford on so anyway that's enough for those i just wanted to kind of detail and show you guys that like different layup packages change your hop like animations as well and long athlete by far is the best one and you're going to see as we kind of detail that through the rest of the video where i was using different layup packages through like through all the stuff that i've shown you so anyway i'm gonna make the quick little cut to that as well all right so we're in the film room now <laughs> you know the deal but from the detail vids so anyway apologize if these clips are a little bit blurry too it's in like 720 so i understand it's not the highest quality but anyway this right here is the default small that i'm talking about so i'm gonna I'm just break this down real quick for you you see how trash this is right now granted i'm not using fancy footwork so that is one thing about this but i do want you guys to keep in mind again the layup packages make a big deal with this it's very important to keep that in mind that long athlete is big time fancy footwork is nothing without long athlete and that's just what i want to explain look at this i mean and i was over here like i said i'm a huge i used to be a huge hater of fancy footwork i was out here thinking i was doing something with this right here and it's honestly kind of embarrassing to think that like i was thinking this was like you know more suitable than not than having fancy footwork i was just sitting here like oh it's a waste of badge points look at me i can't even get past him i'm just really getting bailed out with a contact dunk so and for those who aren't slashers watching this video, granted, I understand this stuff doesn't take skill. Listen, I don't always do this like slasher stuff. I play as an inside big with like screen setting stuff. It takes a little bit of IQ as well. I kind of am like backseat point guard with it. But regardless, with with all that said, it doesn't, I'm sure that doesn't matter to you. But anyway, <laughs> um, 
the thing is, and you see, I'm still on a, I was still on an 11 game win streak with this, and we're gonna fast forward on this real quick. 11 game win streak, boom, and I still had no long athlete, no fancy footwork on a 6'5 pure lock, bro. Like, and this build was like 91 overall at the time as well. Now, don't, don't get me wrong, not the best level of competition is always gonna play you on the 1v1 court, but regardless, you get the deal. It's still pretty crazy that with no fancy footwork, no long athlete, I was still doing this, but again, all these clips on this pure lock right here are to show you what it looks like with no fancy footwork and i'm this is me just debunking the whole thing i'm just showing you again look at how trash that is look at look at how whack <laughs> of a finish that is and i will say i got a lot of those like bump animations and then like you know it gave me a low contest percent whenever i didn't have fancy footwork on but anyway okay so now i'm on my main player so i'm gonna give three explanations as to why this is such a big deal a like I said, it's my main player, so I have finishing badges. I'm six foot nine. I'm taller. B, I have long athlete equipped, and then C, I have fancy footwork. Now, the clips I was showing you from before that are with A, my pure lock, which was a 91 overall. B, didn't have any fancy footwork on, and C, had default small for my layup package. So anyway, these clips you can see the major difference. I mean, the the length that you get on these hop dunks with long athlete is just ridiculous. Now, like I said, the stunning of your defender is fancy footwork popping up now like obviously i don't know if like height has too much to do with the whole uh like distance you get on the hop dunks i'm not exactly sure and i don't know if it has anything to do with like getting more contact dunks out of the hops as well but you see the distance that you get on these regardless with whatever the outcome is because of whether it's that i have long athlete or fancy footwork or that i'm taller or that i have hall of fame finishing badges just in general I, whatever the outcome may be you can see this is a way better outcome than what i was showing you before with the 6.5 pure lock now what my opinion is is that that is very much so to deal with the fact that i had like i said the default small layup package on this right here having long athlete is ridiculous as you can see i'm going i'm already nine for nine on this dude he was in like a brown shirt but he was still a 99 glass lock i don't know why dudes be trolling like that bro i swear but it, hey and you should check out some of the videos that i'm showing you guys from this stuff you see the the one bs take that i got right there but anyway 11 for 11 that game you should check out some of the videos that I'm going to show you. In one of them, I play a 7 foot 3 like post score that's on a on a I think 35 game win streak. He's like a 98% win percentage. And then the other one I, I beat like a 17 game streak on my pure lock as well. But now anyway, to get back to the title in like, you know, topic of this video right here. And let me get this error out of the way too. Um the thing I'm trying to show you guys with this, like I said, is just to show all the animations that I was getting in these videos with like I said, this is Hall of Fame fancy footwork on. Now, I don't think that has anything to do. I'm, I'm going to just replay this and use this as an example. I don't think this right here has anything to do with fancy footwork. I think it's literally just the long athlete doing its work right here. I was past him anyway. Honestly, no matter what the hop dunk I had was, I was probably going to get past him anyway because of just how the angle was situated with that. But like I said, for the most part, now that right there, I'm not sure. I think that might be fancy footwork right there popping up. Now, I will run that back one more time. You see how I just hop through him, right? Right on like, let's say I don't have fancy footwork. Normally, this right here, I'll just bump him like I was and get those low percent contests I was talking about. But with fancy footwork and it doesn't pop up right there and i wish it popped up more just to like clarify when it is activating if you guys get what i'm saying but anyway 22 points 11 for 12 hall of fame fancy footwork on now this right here is my 6.5 pure lock and i was playing the ss3 uh i think interior finisher it was just he was a post score essentially right so anyway again now i'm back on the default small i don't have long athlete on now i think i do show eventually my this player having long athlete on but look at that like i don't have fancy i think i actually do have fancy footwork on in this video but no long athlete so that was yeah and you see it pops up on gold right there i have fancy footwork on but no long athlete so it's just like it's a very we're, we're showing you all different instances look at how trash that layup package is too bro it's just like i said I'm here to show you all the different different instances. We got all the examples of like this player not having any fancy footwork on, having fancy footwork but not long athlete, then having both fancy footwork and long athlete. Then I'm showing you what it looks like at the beginning of the video, like I said, with the Crawford package versus long athlete. And then you can see through most of the stuff I'm showing you right here, these hops are horrible on the default small, bro. <laughs> They're horrible. And I don't know, I'm probably tripping for using those. I was I was sitting here thinking, because and this right here, again, the 30 game win streak, playing this dude beasted, 97.5 win percent. Again, I, I'm sorry if some of the clips are very blurry. Some of these have been through like multiple different 
uh, just YouTube recordings that I'm like showing. Anyway, let me skip to the stuff that actually matters. So you're gonna see this game, like I said, against Beasted. This was a really good game. If you wanna watch it, feel free to. But anyway, you see Crazy Hop, he holds B trying to trying to make it so I couldn't get past him. Or I, he might've been thinking I was going for contact dunk. But anyway, somewhere in this game, I think it's 10 to two was the score and I have takeover. You're gonna see where Fancy Footwork pops up. Now, it doesn't pop up for any of these hop dunks that I do. And I think there's like four of them before that where, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I, I am like a little bit worried to go for contact dunks when it comes to these seven threes. So these hop dunks can generally be a really good outcome, especially if they're going to play this high. I mean, and you see, again, get that BS like hop through, like, you know, just, it, I'm, I'm not going to lie. That is the most trash stuff slashers can do, but that's not the intention. It's just, I wish the game had more of like a, if you mean to do something, then it happens. And if you, if you do it at the wrong time, then you get completely screwed over. But anyway, we got one more clip right here where I just, I like, find my way to the hoop right but then and right here he's just kind of behind me good still good time to do a hop but not necessarily the time now you can see right here i'm gonna pause it as i hit this hop so we hit this like uh little hezzy right here you see it's popping up right now and i want to explain how this works i feel like the times where your defender gets stunned and i'm gonna here i'm gonna run this back one more time and just let it go full speed you can see he gets stunned like really bad right here and he, he can't do anything and I feel like those are the times where fan, uh, fancy footwork does actually make its impact. So again, it pops up right there. You're like going from one side of him to the other. And I don't know. I feel like that is the times where it truly becomes useful. And again, right there, I feel like even though it doesn't pop up, I feel like those cross body animations are the ones that actually make the difference. Now, that right there, I want to explain. You guys think like, I don't know. Think what you want. Again, think what you want. But this is my pure lock now and he has gold fancy footwork and long athlete now. So you remember those, those clips where I was showing you where it has gold fancy footwork, but still had default small, right? Now you're seeing it with gold fancy footwork, but long athlete. And that right there, I think is a way better animation. I mean, just the, the, the length of that hop. Now that right there is trash, but don't get me wrong. And I don't know, maybe that is something where the height actually impacts it quite a bit. We're, we're all kind of learning together on this, if you ask me, because I don't really know fully the, the true use of it. But again, you see long athlete animation right there. It's just, it's very much so more functional, I feel like. And even if like having fancy footwork on does make a big difference, I will say, I think, like I said, long athlete makes the most difference. Now, right here, you're gonna see, he was just playing me differently where I was just going for regular dunks or contact dunks. I don't think I had any more hops through the rest of the game. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you want to leave any feedback and let me know what you think, you see I'm out here, like I said. It, and sometimes I want to explain too. Sometimes it's not a good time to hop. Look at him. He's taken, and I want some of these slashers to like pay attention to this because this is a very big thing as far as like the quote unquote skill with slashers go. You see how he's playing my offhand, right? If I hop right here, horrible time to do it. With long athlete, the little hop to the to the ball hand is horrible. Now this is where doing that Crawford thing I'm talking about, the little uh, down to the left and like, uh, don't hold RT, then hold RT when you go for the dunk. That could be really useful in this situation. And some people may just be so tailored to like watching this offhand that they like, you know, give you that ball hand hop dunk every time. But anyway, you got to know your tendencies as a slasher. You got to know the defense's tendencies. And other than that, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Long story short, and I'll just kind of explain and just maybe I'll just uh, cut back to the beginning here. Um, I'll just explain how I feel about this by saying, I hope you realize that like part of this is mostly the, the layup package. Like look at that trash animation that I get with the default small. I just want you guys to understand that, that like the layup package is very much so just as important as fancy footwork is to have on. But again, now not having fancy footwork on makes things like this happen right here where you get the body up, you can't get past him. Now, if you're lucky enough to get the contact dunk, you're, you're lucky enough to get the contact dunk. But that is the stuff I'm talking about. Again, I can't get past him very good. It's also, again, the layup package sucks. So just keep in mind, you need both. Long athlete paired with fancy footwork is a really tough duo <laughs> and it's and it's real tough to defend. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on the melodies, all that good stuff. Uh, put fancy in the comments if you made it to the end of the video just to show your support that you want to show your loyalty, loyalty to me that you made it all the way through. But anyway, other than that, Hope y'all enjoyed. If we get this to like 500 likes too, I'd really appreciate that. But anyway, and that, hope y'all enjoyed. Take it easy, man. Peace.